Hello, I'm Melody Pash, and we're going to talk about houses in your dreams. Now, there are lots of um, aspects about a house and elements in a house that can be relative to what's going on in your dreams, so we're going to quickly talk about those. Let's talk about a house overall. The house can represent, at times, the life of the dreamer, but it's also fundamentally connected to the generational line or the family line. Remember that in some countries, when they talk about a family line, they call it the house of, right? The house of Jones, the house of Anderson, those, those types of things. So what happens is the house can represent a family line or a generational line, a bloodline, okay? So it might be about your generational line. It might be about you personally. You'll just have to look at the other elements so that you can figure out what exactly is going to be the best direction to go in your interpretation. Now, let's talk about a house under construction because those are a lot of times in my dreams under construction, whether it's being renovated or it's being built. But being built, a house that's being built is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a system or a life or even a family being constructed or being built. So if it's under construction, it's not quite finished. It's not yet finished. And in the dream, look at what stage the house, the construction of the house is in, and that will tell you some things about whatever the house is relating to in your dream so that you can see how far along that house is. It's a little bit like birthing a baby, right? So let's talk about the foundation. The foundation has to go down first, right? They have to clear a lot. The clearing, they have to make a place for the foundation. The foundation is your foundational belief system, the foundations of the system, the foundation of your life. Think about the framing out or what the construction industry calls sticks. When sticks go up, the framing goes up. That's going to metaphorically relate to the framework of whatever the house represents in your dream, the framework of that, okay? Now, once the framework is up, then you're going to eventually have fully constructed walls. Now, walls are going to be positive and or negative. They keep things out, so they're healthy boundaries, but they can also keep love out. They can keep relationships out. They can keep other things out that you don't want or that you don't feel ready for in your house or in your life. So a lot of elements, every element actually, is going to have a positive or a negative connotation to it. So those are going to be, the walls are going to be your boundaries, okay? Let's talk about the windows or the fenestration, windows and doors, your openings, in other words. Now, windows are going to affect the flow of air that go through the house. So the flow of something that's in the, ho in the house, but windows can also represent a window of opportunity, right? Uh, a revelation, an aha moment. Those things can all, all be... Uh, depicted by a window. Now doors, you also have doors of opportunity, and doors represent an opening. Now an opening might be positive or negative. It could be a potential of something, so think of it that way. Now you also have a back entry and a front entry. The back entry is, of course, going to represent something that was in your past. Now, that doesn't mean it's not trying to enter now, but it's somehow connected to or related to your past. A front entry is going to be something that's either happening at present in your life or it's coming. It's something that's in the future. It's coming. Now, if you just had the dream, it might be something that happens in a week 
or it could be something that's coming in a year. I've had things uh, not really come to fruition for as, as much as five years down the road. So you're going to have to wait and walk some things out in your dream before you actually see what's going on. That's just the way it is. So sometimes patience is going to be important. Let's talk about a few other quick elements in the house. You have your windows, you have your doors. Those are all openings, right? Positive or negative. So negative things can come in those entrance, those entries, and you're going to have to watch those. But positive things come in those entryways or those openings as well. Let's talk about the ceiling. The ceiling is going to represent um, your limitations, right? There's a ceiling on that. Now, it might be about your limitations. It might be about uh, a limit in the generational line, or it might be about what if the house is a structure of something coming as, say, an inheritance, and there's actually a cap or a ceiling or a limit on the way a say say a trust is set up it's a cap or a limitation a limit not necessarily always negative it's just talking about a limit or a limitation and then you have your roof which is your covering the covering of the family line, the covering of a specific structure. That might be the CEO of a company. That might be your boss. Uh, it could be uh, the chair of a um, some, some board that you sit upon. So your roof is going to be your covering. It could also be a covering where your religious organization or your affiliation is there. It could be a pastor. It could be the elders. Someone who's spiritually covering you or someone who physically covers you, but it's your covering. So I hope that helps with some elements on house or household, and um, we'll talk about more later. Thanks for watching.